The tools emulate as best as possible their actions needed to complete a successful rating. Five key tools can be accessed through the Tools tab on the left-hand side of the screen. They each have a unique way of delivering you critical information, and we'll go over each of them. The ruler will display a pre-drywall view of the house to allow for insulation grading and joist measurements. Using the ruler will also display insulation characteristics, either inside the attic or crawl space, and the exterior of walls as well. For example, to see the attic or crawl space insulation, teleport to the crawl space and activate the ruler from your toolbox. This will display an insulation hotspot for you to click. The ruler is used to measure depth of insulation within or over joists. After finding the necessary information, click the red X to close out the hotspot view, and then you can put the ruler back in the toolbox. To see the exterior continuous insulation, move to the exterior of the home and choose the ruler from your toolbox. This will show the insulation as well as give you specific insulation information by the front door. After finding the necessary information, remember you can put the ruler back in the toolbox. The tape measure is used to display site dimensions. For example, Clicking on the tape measure will display many dimensions on the outside of the house. In the main area, you can see the interior wall height, and the tape measure will deliver you the crawl space height as well. Don't forget, when you are done, you can put the tape measure away by clicking the toolbox at the bottom. The compass provides orientation information. To determine window or solar panel orientation, select the compass from the toolbox. Make sure you pay close attention to the compass rows, as north does not always point up. You can exit the compass view by clicking the X at the top of the screen. The blower door and duct blaster are used to perform on-site tests in the air leakage and distribution system sections of the clipboard. For the purposes of the simulator, we want students to prove that they can correctly configure the house for the blower door and duct leakage tests. We though want to point out a few assumptions to make while performing these tests. One, you cannot interact with the thermostat, so assume the system is off. And two, assume all combustion appliances are turned off as well. You do, though, need to demonstrate proper window and door positions. With this in mind, let's prepare for the blower door test. Prior to taking out the blower door tool, you need to correctly configure the home, making sure all exterior doors and windows are closed, and all interior doors are open. In all scenarios, you'll find at least one open window that needs to be closed and an interior door that needs to be open. One trick to help you with this process that will make the configuration process a little quicker is to pull out the ruler tool. As you might remember, this will automatically make the drywall disappear and makes it much easier to view each door and window on the floor to see if any interior doors need to be open or exterior windows or doors need to be shut. In this scenario, there's a window in the family room that needs to be shut. And then I can see that the door to the master bath needs to be open. Once you are confident that the house is properly configured, you can put the ruler back to show the normal house with drywall. Now we will face the front door and take out the blower door. The manometer will automatically open for you. No need to focus or get distracted on tube setup as it's not the focus of the simulation. We received the proper reading of 1400 CFM that would be recorded here, but we want to show you what happened if you had not properly configured the house. If an interior door was incorrectly closed during testing, and your reading would be incorrect. Similarly, if you had a window incorrectly open, your reading would be much higher than expected. Another tip, once you have completed the blower door test, is that instead of going to the next section in the clipboard, you can actually take advantage of the house being configured for one of the duct tests, so you could do that test now. The duct test can be completed and recorded in the distribution section. The duct system to outside test has the same configuration as the blower door test, meaning all exterior windows and doors are closed and all interior doors are open. We have the blower door still out. I will face the return grill and click the duct blaster. I will see the duct blaster and its manometer appear, and I can assume it's set up correctly. To note, this pop-up is related to actually the next test we are going to do, the total leakage test. But remember, right now we're doing the outdoor test, so I will click it to make it disappear. You will also see that you are no longer receiving a flow reading on the manometer from the blower door. The house is at the right pressure on the blower door manometer, and now on the duct blaster manometer, we can record our flow of 80 CFM. For the last test, we can put away the blower door. And now we just have the duct blaster tool open. 
Remember, when doing this total leakage test, the pop-up had reminded us that we need to open a window. After opening the window, we can see that changes our reading, giving us a total leakage of 85, which you can now record. This has concluded all our necessary tests, and you can put the duct blaster away as well. A couple things to note. When attaching the duct blaster, always face the return grill. This should assure you that this is where it is connected. This will help you properly answer the question at the bottom of the distribution section system. One last note. It has been noted by users that in a small group of cases, when people connect the blower door or duct blaster, the manometer does not automatically come up. As you have seen in this video, the manometer should automatically come up. If this happens to you, we always suggest you reach out to technical support and they will walk you through the troubleshooting process. Good luck.